Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the journey of air and oxygen into the lungs and back. Our journey of oxygen begins when the brainstem sends a message to the diaphragm, which is a muscle under the lungs. As the diaphragm moves down, the lungs expand. As oxygen and air enters the nose and mouth, it enters into the nasal passages. Your nose and nasal passages have tiny hair called cilia and also mucus that helps to filter out dirt and pollen from the air. The air and oxygen next moves to the pharynx, which is located at the back of the mouth. From the pharynx, it moves to the larynx, which is commonly called the voice box. The voice box makes sound when air passes over the vocal cords. The epiglottis is a flap of connective tissue that cover, covers over the larynx during breathing. It stands open when you breathe, which allows air in, but when you swallow or eat, it closes to prevent choking on food. From the larynx, air travels to the trachea, which is a rigid tube of cartilage. The trachea then leads into two tubes called the left and right bronchus. These tubes continue to branch until you reach a very tiny air sac called an alveoli. At the alveoli, oxygen diffuses into the capillaries and carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveoli, and then it is exhaled. This process is then repeated over and over again. I hope that helps and thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe.